I'd like to show you how to work this dip stitch and you can see it here that it's an offset pattern and we're working with two different coloured yarns you don't have to you can work with a single colour but it gives this sort of pavement like effect and also I don't know if you can quite see it on camera if I just tilt the work slightly you can see that these bumps here give a nice sort of textured bobbled feel to the fabric so it's quite a textured fabric it's a four stitch repeat and so let's go ahead and see how we work this stitch so we've worked already four rounds in the sort of grey colour here and we just work those just plain rounds with nothing else in them <clears throat> and then what we want to do is you can see here that we've got a dip stitch here this one that goes all the way down that's why I call it a dip stitch and you can see we've got our bobble here and what we want is our next dip stitch should align with the centre of this and also with the dip stitch that was uh, last but one okay so you can see that we want to do our dip stitch in this stitch here so I'm just going to work to that stitch just uh, knitting and then what we're going to do you can see now that we're in alignment for our dip stitch and what we want to do is something that normally as knitters we don't do and that's drop the stitch off and using the tip of your right needle just gently tease out those strands of yarn you sometimes find that there's tiny little fibres from, from the yarn that you're using you need to break those because it makes it rather awkward and then you do that until you reach your gold stitch here then you can just pop your needle into that stitch to prevent any further laddering and mount it onto your left needle and you want to mount it in a way that's not twisted so you just mount it onto your needle like that now what we're going to do is you can see here that we've got our strands of yarn at the back we actually want to catch those so that we hold them in place so if you look at the back of the work you can see here this is where the four strands were but we've caught them with the gold yarn to bunch them up and hold them in place so there's not strands of yarn across the back that are loose so how we do that is taking the tip of your left needle go underneath all of those strands and you can see I've got one two three four strands now on my needle and the gold stitch is under there too then with your right needle just as you normally would but going underneath those strands of yarns knit into that gold stitch and pull your gold stitch through leaving those strands of yarn at the back and you can see well you can see more clearly I'll just knit a stitch because it's a bit clearer then so you can see now that we've caught those strands of yarn with the gold yarn at either side so those strands aren't hanging loose at the back of the work so this is a four stitch repeat I just knitted one stitch after my dip stitch <coughs> so I'm going to knit another two and then we're going to work another dip stitch so we're going to pull our yarn away from the stitch we're going to mount our stitch onto our left needle and then go under all four strands check you've got them all and then just knit into that stitch as normal leaving those strands behind so I'll show you that another time just there we go so here's the one we want to have the dip stitch so you pull those strands out and I've got a little bit of a strand from the yarn there you just need to break that otherwise the it's rather difficult to get them out of the stitch and then you can just 
mount that stitch onto your needle, duck your needle under those four strands and just knit into your stitch. So drop your strands, pick your stitch up, duck under, knit your stitch. So once you've got the hang of it and you develop a little bit of confidence for dropping that yarn out of the stitches, we, uh, which we don't normally do of course, then um, it's pretty easy. If you are worried about dropping this stitch, then you can put a little stitch marker or, or a hairpin in there just to hold on to it. But honestly, it, it's actually reasonably stable. And so I just find that those things all get in the way of um, actually doing the stitch. It makes it more fiddly rather than easier. What you really don't want to do is to drop your stitch off and then try and pick this up before you take these strands out because it makes taking those strands out then very difficult. You really need to have the space to work those strands out and just pop your needle in and pick your stitch up. So that's how to do the dip stitch and create these nice sort of textured bubbles on your work.